it's your girl Leah back again with another video in today's video as you can see from the title it's just my top five drugstore foundations and my top five high-end foundations now I know if you've been following me for a while I've done a lot of foundation reviews on this channel probably over 35 close to 40 foundation reviews on this particular channel but I haven't done one in a while and that's simply because I have been loving my favorites I have been just using up what I already own and I know that's a little bit of a shocker for people who create content people who create content try new things all the time that's what we're supposed to do but outside of being a content creator I'm a normal person who spends my own money on a lot of these foundations that you see to the right of me right now and I've just been wanting to you know use my money's worth not to say that I'm not doing a foundation review or any foundation reviews in the future just to say that I've been loving some of these right here so much so that I don't think there's anything that could top it so in today's video I'm going to explain to you why I like each of them now I tried to break today's video down into categories of you know the best matte the best hydrating the best all day wear type of a thing just so you can have an overall kind of idea I could just ramble on about all of these but to keep it in a little bit of a semi order I decided to do it in today's format now I'm gonna be honest recently I have been loving high-end more than I had drugstore the drugstore at one time really impressed me now the drugstore hasn't been putting out as much as they have in the past much that has caught my attention as they had in the past if there are drugstore foundations you would love for me to try please let me know down below because they are a little bit more affordable than the high-end foundations but we're gonna start with the best matte foundation in the drugstore and I could not just choose one I'm already starting on a bad foot but I couldn't just choose one foundation but the first matte foundation that I love a lot is the Maybelline fit me matte and poreless again I will list all the foundation shades I am in all these foundations down below but just off bat I'll tell you right now I'm in 335 classic tan and Maybelline fit me now I love this I am a dry skin person so you guys know right off the bat I'm dry to normal a local esthetician recently told me I gear towards the side of normal a little bit more than I do the dry but I am dry to normal skin and I love the Maybelline matte and poreless and it's weird for me this was the first matte foundation I was scared to pick it up but people were raving about it I think I first picked this up in maybe even college I might have been in college maybe fresh out of college when I got that so almost seven years ago as when I learned about Maybelline matte and poreless and I was like it says normal to oily on here it's not gonna work for me and surprisingly I actually like it I actually like it now it doesn't leave me too dry and that's the thing I I don't want to look too dry I'm already dry I don't want to look more dry it doesn't leave me that way it's an under $10 foundation the one thing I do not like about it is the fact that it does not have a pump and that would be so awesome if it did have a pump but other than that this foundation is the go-to for normal to oily skin types and the next foundation I'm going to hold up symbolically because I don't have it anymore just because I do like the Maybelline fit me a little bit more but the L'Oreal infallible pro matte was also a good good contender for matte foundation again another foundation that is affordable I think that foundation is $12.99 but it is amazing I do believe I have a review video on this channel of the pro matte and I will link that video up above but again love the pro matte by l'oreal just don't own it anymore because there's no point in me having a plethora of matte foundations when i can get maybelline matte and poreless and it does sort of the same job but i do have the l'oreal pro glow infallible um for a whole another category now the l'oreal pro glow is a finish of radiant wears up to 24 hours the coverage on the package says medium and the texture says air light i do say that this coverage definitely a medium coverage but it is very light Light on your face it doesn't feel like a heavy foundation and that's what I like I typically again being dry skin also love a light coverage that's what I just adore I feel like I don't like feeling like I have foundation on my face and with this pro glow I don't feel like I have kind of foundation on my face my skin feels very breathable sometimes I touch my face and forget that I have foundation on when I have this on but there are some foundations that I wear that I cannot forget that I have foundation on and I'm gonna talk about some of those today that still make my favorites List, but I tend to on a day-to-day -day basis like a foundation that I don't feel on my face now my best full coverage from the drugstore will definitely have to be Revlon color stay foundation 
this was probably the only foundation I wore on my channel for the first I'd say eight months of me making content because it looks so good on camera I didn't have a lot of full coverage foundations prior to this point again I'm a normal light coverage type of a girl I like a low coverage foundation but what I realized in making content is that you have to kind of have a fuller coverage for it to really appear on camera and appear kind of with the HD standards that cameras have today. Just make it look overall well. And so I said, hey, I need a full coverage foundation. And I tried the Revlon Color Stay. Fell in love. Again, affordable, has a pump, looks good on camera, looks good in photos. I say I run to this a lot of the times when I'm trying to give suggestions in the drugstore. If somebody comes up to me and says, hey, I need a suggestion on a foundation, I don't know why this happens to me and a lot of like targets and walmart again people don't know i have a channel so i don't know why they feel like hey this rando is gonna know if i'm like looking for some mascara they'll be like what foundation oh girl try that revlon color stay uh it's really incredible now they do have the normal and dry version and they do have the combination oily version i do tend to like the combination oily version a little bit more don't know why again i am normal to dry so this should be my bread and butter but something about this and again it might be that I feel like the shades sometimes settle differently but favorite full coverage if you're somebody who takes a lot of photos is looking for a good photography type foundation this is your go-to now my favorite hydrating you guys should already know I've talked about this probably at length and it is that L'Oreal True Match Lumi the healthy luminous makeup I am in the shade N7-8 Whew, this foundation love it for the hydrating feeling hydrating there's a certain inner glow sometimes it looks like you're glowing from within and that's what I mean when I say hydrating it doesn't mean that my face is kind of you know that it's runny as I'm having a runny face moment that's not what I think of when I think of hydrating I think of an inner glow you know the foundation I have right now I think gives a good inner glow and that's what uh, the true match Lumi does now the foundation I have on today I'll get to in this video but if you're looking for something that kind of gives you a little bit of a luminous glow that's what it says I can't think of any other adjectives but what they have used on this bottle a luminous glow the true match Lumi is for you again drugstore so very affordable and now my last favorites this is my best all-around foundation this is a foundation that I like to wear to work to, to on camera anytime I'm thinking of grabbing a foundation like if I could just grab one of these and have to run out the house if they say Talia you can grab one foundation in this drugstore grab it and let's go now I would grab either one of these two now the first one is the cover girl vitalist foundation uh, healthy elixir uh, foundation I'm in the shade 757 which is golden tan on the back it reads lightweight full coverage makeup I do like this foundation in the sense that it is very hydrating I like the SBX quality of it I know it's infused with those vitamins and it really feels like something is happening to my skin something great is happening to my skin not saying that I've seen the proven benefits that it stopped me from breaking out or doing anything because I don't break out on a normal occasion there are foundations in the past that aren't making this list that have broken me out and that I just haven't enjoyed but this is a foundation that I just feel like doing my skin good when I have it on it is very lightweight it's not as full coverage as you know the Revlon I, it says full coverage on here but it's not as full coverage but it is a foundation I like as well as this Maybelline dream undercover full coverage protective makeup again this has a little bit more of a SPF in it, it is SPF F50 and it is formulated with antioxidants to help protect skin from environmental aggressors again I think the new claim to fame is to help your skin block out the you know pollution and everything that's going on I can't make any claims to that I don't know if pollution isn't getting in due to this foundation but what I can say is that for a while this was the foundation I was wearing on camera there are times when I you know I go through foundations that I'm wearing on camera for the beginning of my YouTube journey it was Revlon color stay and more recently it's been the dream undercover mixed with the hourglass foundation I just go through times where I'm looking for different combinations to try on camera and this was one of the best foundations that I found and it's a more recent find as well I don't even know if I have a review on this but I'll link it up above if I do but it's just a good overall every day can wear this every day can last all day can look well on camera can look well in photos can just overall be a great all-around foundation and that's what I like about this dream undercover 
Now as we shift gears into the kind of high end, we're going to go with first the favorite matte foundation and it's going to be that Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Now Jackie Ina is the YouTuber who has convinced me to try this foundation. I wasn't going to try it for a while but at that time of me getting this foundation, I think it was in a um, Octoly. Octoly was a, is still a place there in a way for influencers who maybe have a little bit of a smaller following who don't typically get on PR list to get foundation so I saw it on Optily I was like let me try it it's gonna be free it's gonna be a good foundation to try and I think when I first tried it I wasn't like fully sold on the, the hype but then after using it and using it and using it I can see what it is about it that makes it so good and it is that stay in place mentality it does stay in place this foundation ain't going nowhere after a while this foundation ain't budget i did have to buy the pump for it um the pump you can get from this might be a mac pump estee lauder and mac are under the same umbrella under the same organization estee lauder of course is the higher end and mac is kind of that more medium end but estee lauder is the same parent company love this foundation if you're looking for a matte stay all day type of a foundation ain't going nowhere i know a lot of brides use this on their way wedding day because honey it ain't budging it ain't moving now the foundation I might would use if I was getting married tomorrow I think it would be the Kat Von D locket foundation now I have the sample sizes because when I first got it I was like I, I knew it was a good full coverage foundation I had heard a lot about Kat Von D foundation for years and I was like yeah you know I'm gonna get to it when I get to it but then I noticed they had minis online now they don't have as many shades in the minis as they do the full size so I got two sizes of the minis I got M65 warm and M64 neutral and the Kat Von D on the site they have a little bit more in between like they have shades in between this so I wouldn't have had to get these two shades there or something in between so I got these two and I mixed these two together to make my perfect shade I don't have a review video on it I'm gonna wait to do a review video until I purchase the full size but I'm waiting till I run out of these little two minis which they put a lot of product in the mini so I really suggest it if you're thinking about trying it out but don't want to pay the full price of the Kat Von D but I'm ready to go ahead and take the plunge into buying the full price Kat Von D but when I want to look like I got makeup on I'm looking full coverage my photos look good I'm telling you my photos look so good if you follow me on ig literally my since january of 2020 this is what i've had on my face love this as a full coverage foundation love this for filming love these two together now when i think of like coverage and foundations for me it's a hundred percent the mac face and body foundation now oh my gosh love this foundation probably one of the early contenders for this channel for me there is not a drugstore I'd say equivalent to this light coverage now I talked about the L'Oreal Pro Glow as being a light coverage this is even lighter than that this is when you just don't want to feel like you have any foundation on your face but you're trying to go for a very light coverage this combined with one of the later foundations is the foundation that I have on my face today again when you're looking for a no makeup makeup look you want to have a, a, a smidge and I mean a drop of coverage this is the foundation for you I think it even has a little bit less coverage than BB creams I've used to the moisturizers I've used in the past this face and body love it now I've gotten questions in the past is it gonna cover up tattoos on your body no this is not full coverage it's a light coverage. it means you can put it on your body if you want to put some foundation on your body give your body a little bit of a, a sheen a little bit of a shine something like that but it's not you're covering your massive tattoos type of a foundation this ain't what the body and face and body is for but I love the light coverage nature of it now for hydrating has to be the Fenty Pro Filter hydrating long wear foundation who she went off on this now I liked her matte foundation when it came out just because I felt like I needed a support assistant but for my skin type it wasn't my bread and butter and I said that in my review video for her first ever foundation I was like well, girl you will have me if you come out with the hydrating version and then it took two years but she finally I think heard us dry skin girls out here like girl we want to support your brand I want to give your brand money you know I've already given your brand money with the contour sticks I would like a foundation please 
this is the foundation if you are that person who's looking for a hydrating option who's looking for an option outside of the matte fancy foundation that might not have been up your alley because you know again you need a hydrating foundation this is going to be your hydrating foundation for you now best all around foundation have to give it to the your face and body now this is what i have uh, on my face in combination with that matte face and body i think these are the two foundations that i wear on a kind of everyday basis if i'm trying to jazzy it up for work a little bit and I don't want to look you know too tired I will put this in combination with matte face and body right now just because this is more my summer shade that is more my winter shade that matte face and body in C6 this is my summer shade we're right now in spring so I'm in an in-between shade I'm in an in-between season so that's why I'm combining the two of them together but I'll probably use this exclusively alone come summer I have to say all around if I think of a foundation that I would wear almost every day without you know filming if it's a normal you know Saturday running to run groceries this is what I wear but I had to give honorable mention to the foundation that held me down at the top of the year I'll just show you that I've used quite a bit of this foundation and I, I just couldn't pretend like this didn't exist this existed for me for quite some time I don't reach for it as much but again it has to make this list because it held me down this NARS natural radiant long wear foundation was my jammy jam jam before I found that that Dior face and body and it stole my heart Norris held your girl down not that I don't like this foundation anymore but I think that gives me the level of coverage that I need that this is a little a little too you know dressy for me on a day-to-day -day basis but who yes I love you Norris Norris you really came through with this foundation these have been my foundations that I love again I haven't tried a lot of newbies just because I like what I like I don't think there's a lot that the chemistry lab can do to change the formulas of a lot of foundations that can change the world for me so I don't want to bring foundations to you if I don't feel wholehearted that you should run out and go buy those products I wanted to bring you products today that I feel like if you already have these in your cabinet you are good you are set you are winning right now now, so again these are all winners in my book but you leave down below winners in your book that you feel like I have to have to try let me know down below and I'm happy to go ahead and try it out for you out there now make sure you're subscribed to this channel so you can see me try those foundations out make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up even if you didn't enjoy it we like all the love and support over here on this channel make sure you're following me on Instagram at LealaVon89 so you can catch up with my shenanigans in real time and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.